I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Tim here, welcome back to yet another player review, and today we have a bit of a weird one, 93 rated Henrik Mkhitaryan, who by the way, already has a 93 rated card in FIFA. I wasn't aware of this when I did 6 o'clock content, because they threw out so many votes over Summer Heat that I kind of just lost interest, forgot, and all the rest of it, but um, Mkhitaryan was one of the players who was eligible for a vote, and he lost, and because he lost, he went into the draft as a 93 rated item. EA, in their infinite wisdom, have decided that we're not going to be original. We're not going to go and pick a card who, or a player rather, who hasn't got a special card this season. We're going to pick a player who already has two informs, a shapeshifter, and a 93 rated card. And we're going to give him, you've guessed it, another one. A 93 rated card. It's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. Why couldn't they have chosen someone else? I don't know. Zaniolo has a Future Stars card but it's not that great. He's one of the best players in Europe in terms of like youth players, so or young players anyway. So why wasn't he given the card? I don't know. There's so many Roma players that could have been chosen ahead of Mkhitaryan, but it is what it is. We have it now. Is he any good? Of course, he could go up higher. Roma plays Sevilla, so a bit up in the air as to whether uh, they will win that game or not. But um, that aside... Let's have a little look at this card. The selling point of it, of course, is going to be the five-star weak foot, which is brilliant in this game. You, I wouldn't say you need it, but it just makes life so much easier. Four-star skills, uh, high, high work rates, lean body type. Let me just have a look at the traits. Uh, team player and flair, so nothing really going on. I mean, flair for McTyrian, does he really have that in real life? Not sure. Um, 94 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, 90 agility, 94 balance, 89 reactions, 94 ball control and dribbling, and then 86 composure. So even though it's a 93 rated card, and it is actually a 93 rated card in terms of points per position, it doesn't scream I'm I'm like the same as other Summer Heat 93 rated cards are, you know? It doesn't scream quality. It's a good card, and I, what I just—I'm going to contradict what I just said. It's a good card and a very good card, and it's close to end game. But the, like the composure's low, the reactions are low, the finishing isn't quite there, the long shots are not quite there, the long passing's not really there, the strength isn't—you know, there, there's there's a couple of things here or there that just don't really add up. It just doesn't make an awful lot of sense. I wonder whether if he gets a another card, like if if Roma beats Sevilla and he goes up to a 94. Will EA not just go up by one, but they'll actually give him a proper boost up to a, a better 94, like in terms of they'll give him 92 or three reactions, they're bumping it up by two or three points. I'm not sure. Uh, we're into the gameplay now. Uh, shorter reviews as of late because we are into the back end of the game. And if you do uh, enjoy the slightly shorter reviews, a bit more compact, then uh, let me know and we'll maybe continue it into FIFA 21. But um, in terms of the chem style, you've already seen what I've used, but you've got various options. I actually used him as a cam more than I did as a, a winger. Uh, put him up to striker now and again, but his finishing does lack. So using a maestro and putting him up as a cam turns him into a 97 rated cam. And you are going to get that five star weak foot. You've got those work rates, which really do help in that cam position. Great passing, really good long shots then with the chem style. Great dribbling and ball control and all the rest of it. There's nothing really wrong with using that maestro. You've got nearly everything you could want. You could possibly give him a dead eye if you want to maybe play him further forward as a centre forward or as a striker. You still only get a 95 rated cam out of him or a 92 rated striker, but still, he's capable. However, like I said, maestro, cam, that's what I did, and I don't regret it. I actually had a lot of fun with him. The annoying thing about this is the starting position. I had to sacrifice my Callahan to get this McTyrian into the team, which wasn't the end of the world, but Callahan is a much better winger in my opinion and he's better to be used in that position than McTyrian is so I had to kind of make uh, sacrifices in certain areas of the pitch for that but all in all I will say that um, he's solid now I did try him obviously when you start off before I switch formation he is going to be out there on the right hand side and I did try him for a little bit and it's not that he doesn't work it's high defensive work rate is a little bit frustrating and he, he, he is quick but he doesn't feel as fast as the likes of that Callahan card. So that's why I'm not a massive fan of having him out on that um, on that right-hand side. I would much prefer him to be as a cam. And that's exactly where I moved him into. And his passing 
His passing is brilliant. I am such a fan of this guy's passing with a maestro. He managed somehow to hit nearly every pass I played. And some of them were slightly longer than others. Chip passes, dink passes, reverse passes. And of course, his finishing is, isn't the best. It's maybe down to the composure. It may be down to the actual finishing stat. And that's the problem. He did get through on goal quite a few times for me um, because of that, um, that positioning and his pace. He was able to beat the defence quite a few times, get in on goal. He did score his fair share, but he missed his fair share as well. And you could put it down to the 89 finishing. Maybe we need to boost that and the 86 composure as well. So there are definitely a few things at play. And I'm not really sure which one was the problem. And that's that's going to be the issue. I suppose it would be trial and error. You'd have to go and maybe put a sniper on him and then see if that makes a difference. Because, of course, with a sniper, you do get 91 composure, 99 finishing. If you want to use him as a striker... I think that would probably be the best way to go about doing it. As a cam, if you were to put a sniper on him, turns into a 96. Not quite as good with a maestro as he is with a sniper. Wait, not quite as good with the sniper as he is with a maestro, rather. However, definitely capable of scoring goals and, and breaking the back line. I just really liked his passing with the maestro. So that's one of the reasons why I just wanted to keep it on there. I only tried it. I, di I didn't put anything else on him. I put the maestro on it. I thought, well, I'll try this for a game and see how it is. And it was so good. I didn't want to take it off. So... Yeah, that's that's basically that in a nutshell. Is he really worth the coins? Well, that's the problem and that's the interesting thing really because, I mean, yeah, in a way he is, but at the same time, no. Because we're at that stage of the game now and I don't want to say, oh, it's August, but I can't deny it is now August. And this for a, around 100,000 coins is... It's taken the mick a little bit, you know? Like, we're, we're so far into the end game now that this isn't even an end game card. I have cards on my bench that are better than this McTarian card. However, in terms of stats on paper at least, I should really enjoy them in game. But the problem with it is, is because we're so far into the game and you've got cards that are better. It should have been cheaper. It should have been, no, I wouldn't say half the price, but maybe around sixty to 70,000 coins would have been more than enough. You know, you could go pick up that, uh, I can't say his name probably, Valverde, Valverde, Valverde. Uh, you can go pick him up for about 55,000 coins. He's the same rating, and you could arguably play him in similar positions to McTarian. So why is that card cheaper than McTarian, even though the other one plays for Real Madrid, who have got every chance of going through just as much as Roma have? So it doesn't really make an awful lot of sense to me, the pricing on it. I would argue that they've got it wrong. Uh, only a little bit, but still, it's a very good card. And if you are a Roma fan, then you won't mind spending the coins for it. But I just think it's slightly overpriced, even though it is a good card. We just need to remember that we're into literally the final month of the game now. So that's why I think the price is just a touch on the high side. But all in all, great card. Would recommend it if you're a Roma fan or just a fan of McTierian, or you need that right mid for your Italian league team. Everyone else, keep hold of your... Keep hold of your high-rated cards. I'm sure there'll be something better coming along soon. If you have enjoyed this play review, do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.